Welcome to another episode of UCRD Reviews. So today I have a Time Machine Nation 2020 figure to review. This one is the RX-78 slash CA, Casval's Gundam version anime. So this figure actually comes with a cool little slipcase here. You see it says Time Machine Nation 2020 on the back. And I should be able to just slide this thing off. And you have a regular box underneath. So this is Casval's Gundam from an alternate storyline that took place in the Giren's Greed video game in 1998. Basically, Shar continued to run Zeon after the fall of the zombies, and he called it Neo Zeon and built a Gundam using Earth Federation and Zeon technology to have as kind of a figurehead mobile suit because it's Shar and he needs to have all the latest, greatest stuff. So, the mobile suit, you know, Cast Falls Gundam, has had several figures in the past. Um, they didn't take, they didn't waste much time making a figure because in the year 2000, the MSIA line actually made a Cast Falls Gundam variation, and then they made another one, I think, in 2004 using the second version Gundam. They made it in the High Complete Model Pro line, they made it in Gundam Fixed Figuration line the metal composite line, so we've seen it many, many times. And so finally it's here in the Robot Spirits line, complete with uh, what looks like a beam bazooka there, which is pretty cool. So let's take a look at the figure here. So this figure is basically a repaint of the Gundam, and uh, the first thing I'm going to note here is that unfortunately it is a repaint of the first version anime Gundam figure, complete with the older style head. So you'll see there that the head is the older kind of squished one and not the modified one that comes in the final battle set, nor is it the latest one that comes with the perfect Gundam. Now the body is, of course, all exactly the same. Uh, we're not going to go through articulation a whole lot just because it's the same figure, so if you want to check that out, uh, you can check out one of my other uh, Gundam reviews in the description below. But we're going to really take a look at the coloring here. So it's got this kind of pinkish red. Uh, you have a darker red on the chest and in a couple other places like the feet, and then you have black accents. It still has the yellow eyes. You have the Vulcans sculpted in there, the beam saber racks, and it has all the same features as the regular Gundam figure. So it looks really, really great. The Casval's Gundam figure had a couple different color schemes over the years. This one's uh, looks looks very much like the Master Grade coloring. I don't know if that's the original Giren's Greed colors. It's kind of hard to tell with Giren's Greed because they're all the super deformed type mobile suits, but. I really like the look of it, so let's take a look at what it actually comes with. Just like any other version anime figure, you do have the standard set of hands. You have a black hand holder here, and you have two different sets of posing hands, beam saber hands, and gun hands. So just like any other Gundam figure, you have the standard beam rifle with all of its fancy moving parts. This is painted in more of like a jet black color. Um, you still have the gold camera there, and of course it's effect part compatible. Same with the Hyper Bazooka. It's painted in black, still has all the same features, um, effect part compatible. You do get the storage piece for it that attaches to the back of the Gundam. And you get the shield, which this one is uh, really cool. Of course it doesn't feature the big cross on the front of it. This looks more like the, what is it, the GM Kai's shield, I think. And it features the uh, beam rifle storage piece there, so you can attach the beam rifle to it. And you get a uh, arm connector that connects to it as well. So this one actually says Principality of Xeon on the front of it, which is really cool. And of course it's in Casval's Gundam colors. Now all these weapons are the same ones that come with the uh, other Gundam figures. So if you want to check them out in detail, 
just look at one of the reviews in the links below. You do have two beam sabers and a long-handled beam saber, which I believe is the one featured on the box, oddly enough. And of course the beam sabers will store in the recharge racks, just like normal. So, all very cool accessories, very basic, except for this one. So this is the beam bazooka that comes with um, the Char's Rickdom. I think it's the release that I have that comes with this beam bazooka. And it's the same thing, you know, there's no real difference to it. Still has the, uh, you know, cameras on here that are kind of a glossy pink color. It looks really, really good, really cool. The handle piece moves slightly. And, you know, it works. I like that it comes with this. I haven't really seen Casval's Gundam coming with the Beam Bazooka before, or using one, I guess, in the various video games that it's in. The problem with this is um, the handle. So if you, if you can see there, the handle for the Beam Bazooka is wider than the handle for the Hyper Bazooka. And it's kind of hard to kind of hard to tell, but it's easier to look at it in person. But it's wider, which means it's going to stretch the hand uh, a lot more than, you know, one of the other weapons. So if you pose them with the beam bazooka a lot, the hand's going to be really stretched, and you're going to have a harder time using one of the other weapons. So that's really the only complaint that I have about the beam bazooka. I mean, that that doesn't look very nice either but you're not really going to see that too much with posing. But, I mean, that's, you know, that's my big complaint is you, you know, you're going to stretch the hands out, which isn't good. And you do have two regular beam saber blades as well. And then you have pretty standard effect parts, same ones that came with the other Gundam figures. So you have two thruster effects with curved pegs. You have a slashing beam saber, and you have a beam rifle firing effect. I wanted to do a little bit of a comparison between a couple other Gundam figures. We have the Full Armor Gundam on the left-hand side, and Perfect Gundam on the right. So the big difference between these two, uh, there's two main differences. Firstly, the head. I do like the Perfect Gundam's head a lot better than this kind of squashed head that the Casfall's Gundam uses, the, you know, the original version animate Gundam head. You'll notice that there's no uh, little yellow V here in the uh, waist. Other than that, they're pretty much the same figure. You know, obviously Perfect Gundam uses a completely different shield, but they both look the same from the back, utilize the same parts. So, you know, if they would have used the updated head, I think it would have been a lot happier. And then you have Full Armor Gundam. Um, you know, these two use the same sculpt, again, aside from this little piece right here. But you'll notice the shields are actually shaped a bit differently. And that's because the Casfall's Gundam release, I think I mentioned earlier, uses the GM Kai shield from the Gundam 0083 version anime line instead of the regular Gundam shield. So it's got a beam bazooka from Char's Rickdom and a shield from a Gundam 0083 figure. So it's kind of an interesting little hodgepodge of accessories there. But it makes up to be a pretty nice little figure. So you'll notice, that again, they're pretty much the same at the back there. So interesting comparison. Like I said, um, really wish they would have used an updated head for it, but... You know, this is what we got. So for about $87, you can pick up a Gundam customized for Char Aznable, which to me is absolutely worth it, because I'm a sucker for anything that has Char's name tied to it. Now, there are things that I would have changed with this figure. Like I said, the head, um, I would have given it the updated sculpt. Uh, probably added in the Vulcan firing effect that you got with the original Gundam figure that was omitted here, and maybe changed the handle of the beam bazooka. I don't think that would have been 
very hard to do at all. Make it a little bit smaller for this figure. Um, I do like the shield. I think the GM Kai shield was an interesting thing to include. And overall, I mean, it looks really, really great. It has the right color scheme, and, you know, it looks like Shar's Gundam, most definitely. So if you can handle the price, if you can find it for a decent price, I would pick it up sooner than later, just because I think the cost of this figure is going to go up and up and up, given that it's a Tamashii Nation exclusive. So, with that said, I approve of this one. I really, really like it, but that all comes down to if you're going to pay that much for a repaint. So thank you for watching the review. Next time you see me, I should have the Black TriStar Zaku one. I think that's the next release coming out. And the GPO one FB, the full vernier, which is going to be really cool. So uh, keep a lookout for those uh, probably late January, maybe early February. And uh, thank you for supporting the channel and be safe and I'll see you next time.